Welcome back everyone. It is part five of our five by four meter garden room build. Today we are going to be fitting the bifold doors, which are 2.2 meters, and our window, which is one meter by two meters, with an opener. If James shows the camera on there, you can see it's gonna be open halfway up. So it's quite a large opener. Customer is going to have his office in this corner of the room, I think, well his desk. That's gonna be the office part of the building. Um, so you have a bit of a view out the window there. Um, fixing these down, it's pretty straightforward. Um, it's, uh, it's, it's really easy to do. What we're gonna do with this one, because we need to pack them up about 10 mil. So the reason we do that is so we've got about a 10 mil gap at the top here for our plasterboard. Um, if you follow me over here, James. With these doors, you look, they have like a perimeter on them. And if you put, if you build them right up to the the um, the top of the roof on the aperture, you're going to get um, a gap here. And then if you put your plasterboard here, it's going to close this gap loads. And when you try and paint in there, or even put some sealant along there to fill in for the plaster, so yeah, the in the plaster, it's just a night because it's really close this gap. So what we like to do is leave 10 mil above, and then we'll just pack it up there. So you've got about a 10 mil gap above the door, and then we'll butt our plasterboard just up to this line of the door there. And that leaves us probably about 30 mil there to access, which is handy. Um, everything else with the door fitting is pretty straightforward. We silicone up the end of the sill. So I'll show you guys out here on this one. Um, a lot of doors are different, but this is how we do these ones. We silicone in here to seal this off. Um, and then when we fix the sill down, we go through this bit here. That fixes it down quite well. And then we lay this down and we put the doors on afterwards. So we pop that in there. Once we fix all that down, what we then do is rest the doors. And we'll show you how we do that. It's gonna be a little bit more difficult today to film. Um, we're gonna have the camera on the stand, I think, just to help with that. But then we screw through the center of the door. So we'll crack on with the sill first. You don't, because we're doing it on a concrete base, there isn't much you need to do. We're gonna pack the sill up, as I said, about 10 mil. So about here. Um, and then what we'll do is we'll expand in foam underneath it. We expand in foam all around the doors to seal it all up. But as you can see, we've wrapped our DPM around the timber onto here. So if any water does get past our drip trim here, which it can't, um, we're super safe for any water entering the building. So that's why we've wrapped the DPM there. Um, right, let's get started. Right, we're packing up now. So we're a the, the the ground's a little bit unlevel, so it could be the timber, it could be the concrete. So we've packed it up a wee bit um, and we fix them down. So you just squash, this is like a plastic trim here. You just squash it with the screws to get it level. That one sunk down a little bit too much. But yeah, that's fine. Now that is solid, fixed on, and we are ready to put our doors in. And what we'll do is we are gonna carry them over and then we're gonna line them up. So actually, just quickly, I'll tell you with the sill where we've put that, we've put this ridge here, this is where the doors will finish, in line with our OSB. We've done that on both sides. That way, we get a nice little return in here. Um, and then our reveal on the front is gonna be once you've double battened, we get a nice cedar reveal there. So that's where we line them up. Um, and it gives us a plenty of room, even with double batten underneath, to get our cedar underneath and not be in interference with the drip trim there. Okay, so what we've done is we've just sat our doors in. So we've lifted it over. We've run a little bead of silicon down the back of the sill there, up against the door. And then what we're going to do now is we've, we just pump the little wind bags up there and there. You get another like 10 pound each, they're not expensive. And that's just hold the door in place. What we'll do is we'll open up the doors and we'll fix along here just to hold the bottom of the uh, frame in. So we'll fix along there, one, two, three, four. We'll have to open the whole door, so we'll open the bifolds up. We'll fix along there with some 100 mil screws. That will hold it into the floor nicely. Um, and then what we'll do is we'll level up our sides with our spirit levels, so we're getting this done right. Um, and then we'll go along the top. Again, with a laser level, we'll probably stick up against that. Um, just to make sure there's no dip in it or bow, and then we'll do our levels vertically as well, and that will just hold the door completely square. So we'll start on the left and work our way down, um, and then when we get to that end, it should all be be square. So that's how we'll okay, do that. doors fixed. We've gone down the sides. We've gone so we fix them through here on this side, on the latch side. We go one, two, three. Obviously, they're fixed on the bottom, so that's there. 
We've plumbed all that up, put a level on it, pull that back out, put a level on it, um, and that's ready to go. So it's pretty straight. We can see our wall was dead on the whole way. We've got a red and white there, red and white there, and a red and a gray. So that's just another mill on top of the white. So the wall's obviously got a little belly there. Could be the timber. Um, so we're all good. So we're square um, this way, and then we've done our levels that way. And that is bang on. Now we're working on the head of the door. So as you can see, yep, still, the head's got a lot of flex in it. Now the runners do have a lot of movement and that's there for expansion. The summer the doors are gonna get hot, which means they're gonna expand and the winter they're gonna shrink. So there is a bit of movement, but we wanna get that perfect. And at the minute, it's got a bit of a belly in it. It's actually pulling down like that. So we've set the laser up over there. Um, if you don't have one of these, you can do it at a level because even as it is now, look, you can see there that there's a belly. The spirit level's rocking on it. So if we push it up, it goes level. You don't have to use a laser, but for the purpose of this, we are, because it's just that little bit more accurate. So um, yeah, we're gonna pull those up. So laser's fixed, then we're gonna put some packers in. What we'll do is we will fix up now and we'll pull it up to the level of the laser and then we'll just wedge some packers in there and then we'll just snug it up. And that will be spot We did, we did, James, you're right. So I forgot to mention that. We've got a double fixing here because this is the stress point of the door. Um, it's where all the weight is. When the bifold's open, the glass is in, it's, the door's gonna wanna pull that way. So we double fix it up here. We're gonna fix there. Um, and then we've gone our points down the, the door there. So it just gives that added rigidity to hold it into the aperture. Otherwise, if you get a little bit of movement, it's not good, it's gonna crack the plaster. So. Yep, we'll fix that top bit up. Okay guys, so because of the sunlight, it's very hard to see the laser. We're currently using a red laser beam. Um, so we did have it set up at the bottom of the frame here. But now, because you can't see the laser and it's not very accurate, we're going to drop the laser down just a little bit. It really doesn't matter how much you drop it down, but obviously don't go stupidly low because then you're really trying to hold the tape. So here in our fixed corner, we have about 17 millimeters, and I'm going to the top of the laser line here. So now we have put a fixing in the middle of the frame at the top. So now I'm going to measure, and we're about 16 mil to the top of the laser. So all we need to do now is drop the screw down a little bit, put our packers in, tighten up, double check again, and once we're happy, uh, we will just leave it as that, and that is super secure and super level. We have now fitted the window. So doors are fitted, windows fitted. Uh, as we were just saying, I fixed all the head up there. That's solid now. Um, so these will glide nicely. We fix the magnet down here into the doors. So they just hold together and then operation. They haven't got the glass in yet, so it's no way to tell how easy I go. But yeah, once the glass in, that'd be good. Uh, windows in over here. So we've got our one meter by two meter opener um, and we're gonna fit the glass now. So glass is over here. The glass goes label side out. Um, make sure you remove all these little um, protectors off it before you offer it up into the door. Otherwise it will be annoying. Um, and then we're gonna heel and tow the glass in the door. So, got a bag of packers here and you start from, if you're on hinge side, so you start from your hinge side and you start from the bottom right there to the top. So you're bracing the door that way because if the door's dropped the door's a bit lower here then you pack the bottom up and then it puts the brace here and then you put your packer here and then you can pack the door up so you can actually lift it look see the whole door moves so as you pack up your glass it lifts the door level with that and that's that's how we do the heel and toe uh, and then you put a packers here and packers there so it's always crossways so now because it's a three pane bifold you then heel and toe it this way so from here to here and then on your last one towards the latch it'll again be the same as that side because it's hinged here um, from the bottom to the top so it goes in a crisscross like this um, and that's how it'll be oh sorry it goes in a crisscross so up there down there then up here yeah um, and that's how it goes so we're going to fit those in we just pull the trims off it's quite simple, they just go in and out like that. And then you slide the glass in and we will heal and tow them up.
Right, that's it. So all the bifolds fitted, windows fitted, all heel and toed. Um, all we've got to do now is just expand and foam around. That's how we finish it. So we'll expand and foam around the frames. Um, and that's good. So make a mechanism there. Make that down there. Nice slider mechanism. Big glide, lovely. Got a window over here. Good size. And that closes the so. And then you also get a little opener there where you can lock it down so it's just open a little bit. Lovely. Um, so that's it. That's how we do the doors. This is part complete. Really nice mechanism on these ones. Um, and we will see you on the next one. We've got stage part six next, and that will be insulating and plasterboard, and that's what we'll be doing. So we'll probably cut some holes for our cables first and then we will do that. So thank you very much for the new subscribers. Really appreciate all your support. Um, and we do have an Instagram page as well, Create Garden Rooms. Go check it out and give us a follow. Uh, if you've got any questions, chuck them in the box below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. We drop these videos every evening this week at 7.30. Um, and when they are dropped, I will be on there answering some questions. So yeah, please do put some comments in. And if you could like and subscribe, that'd be fantastic. See you on the next one.